The movie, first and foremost, is about family and the sacrifices that we have to make for family and for our families. And uh, we all have complicated relationships with our relatives, and this, is, this movie is all about that. It's all about comparing different people in your family and kind of trying to figure out, in a, in a, in a terrible place where you have to make a terrible choice, hence the chosen, who would you choose to have to go? It's a terrible place to be. It's almost like Sophie's Choice times six. It's very, very tough. It's tough subject matter, but um, even though it is like that, we, kind of, we had fun. We had fun making it, we had fun editing it, and hopefully we'll have fun watching it tonight. And Kim made his film debut with this movie. Um, tell me, how, how was how, how was it directing this guy on set? Uh, there is no directing this guy on set. He's awesome. He's just like, he's a fountain of content. So you give him this much and you get this much back and it's all good stuff. I, I really do think he's brilliant. Like, it's, it's, it, I was working with a genius almost. It, wow. Yeah, it was, and you know, the, the um, you know, he comes from, from comedy, so we, we watched his comedy stuff, and then we had him in for auditions, and he just blew us away just by being himself. It's kind of like the hardest thing to do is just be yourself, you know? and he did that brilliantly. At the end. If you were the subject of a horror movie, what would be the worst thing that's chasing you? The would like be worst? worst thing that, you know, what's your darkest fear, or what is something that you don't under, want Anything to under the bed. Anything under the bed. It could be anything, a puppy. Yeah, I, my worst fear would be something that pops out of the bed. As a kid, like an eight-year-old, I used to have the sheet over my face, and I would have to like lay frozen for 30 minutes before I could fall asleep. I'm terrified of the underneath of a bed. Like you don't want him, your legs dangling off nope. the side? Nope, nothing, not in the sheet. Perfectly wrapped like a mummy. That's how I used to fall asleep. And uh, when you're directing this scary movie, did you draw inspiration from uh, any other horror movies? You've seen? Yeah, I love The Ring. I love The Shining. I love uh, anything but Stanley by uh, Stanley Kubrick. Um, there's so many good movies, I, I can't even remember all of them right now. But yeah, I, I, I love the, uh, my, my favorite filming style is 70s kind of documentary style where everything's really honest and raw and handheld. And we did some of that in this movie too. So it's not intentionally not overproduced. So and what is one thing audience can you know, definitely expect from this, watching this movie? Uh, suspense. The audience can definitely expect suspense from this movie. There's a lot of stuff that happens in the next door and behind closed doors and sounds and all kinds of creepy stuff. And it's just, I guess, me growing up. I was always terrified of the room next door or the, you know, or hearing something down the stairs. So you'll see a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs>